All right. Um, so this video is for, uh, I'm probably going to murder his name, but Yuji Val Valdez. Um, and the, the first and foremost thing that he's trying to do is, is he's trying to do an environment concept art. And the, the problem with what he's got now is you're trying to rely too much on photo textures. Um, photo textures are, are great when you know what you're doing but they're a very big crutch when you don't know what you're doing okay so um the first and foremost thing that i see in the background is um that you've got like this this kind of weird sun thing but it looks like it's a, a pixelated image so it doesn't very uh doesn't fit with the amount of detail that you have in the background. So what I would say right off the bat is um, first and foremost, let me just copy this. So first and foremost is um, get rid of that aspect, okay? Um, but I'm just going to show you really quickly. You can, you can really quickly take and, um, I'm just gonna take a blue, I'm gonna start with a gradient, and that's the, the first thing I'm going to add. And then I'm going to go back and grab some of these pinks and go back here and grab some of this color like so. And then I'm going to go in and grab this yellow. Actually grab this kind of, it's almost a little bit brighter than pink. And then what I'm going to do is, um, let's actually, let's grab a little bit more of this blue and pull it down a little bit more. Um, yeah, I just want, want less of that sun to show. And then um, we're going to start and grab some of this real bright orange here. And I'm going to go in a glow, create a new layer. And, and transform that down and merge that layer and then I'm going to go grab that real highlight pink and I'm just going to all right so that is actually a much better sunlight to start with so then what I'm going to do is you've got this idea of it's a city and it feels like it's in water um but you've got a mountain range you know like it's it's a big rock range here so the the problem i see is you're not organizing your foreground middle ground and background all right and that what that means is you need to kind of decide on, on where you're going with this um so at this level what i would do is start by blocking out um, and I'm going to just pick some of this, uh, uh, what do we got here? Pick some of this kind of mid-tone, and I'm going to go a little bit darker towards brown. And if you want that rocky mountain range in there, that's fine. Um, and what you need to do is kind of place that mountain range in there. And I'm just going to fill that color. And then what I'm going to do is grab this tone. Um, I'm going to color pick from your thing. I'm going to grab some of this darker tone here. And go in and grab doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, something like this. And... I'm going to add a new layer, fill with this darker color, but this time, actually, I'm going to fill with a lighter color. It's going to be closer to kind of that range. And I'm not going to, I'm going to fill and take my brush here and just kind of mix the two colors together. So it's kind of got that that red feel. All right, so then 
happen without those in place, with those in place, I'm just going to kind of place them to where it looks like a decent um, composition. So I've got foreground, middle ground, background. Then what you want to do is um, I'm just going to take this, clone it, transform it uh, vertical, grab that, and move that underneath, and then um, start with kind of kind of a multiply, I think. Uh, nope, not a multiply. So I'm just going to hue saturate this so that it's a little bit more desaturated, a little bit darker. That's my shadow line. Um, and this starts like it looks like yours is flooded in water so this starts kind of that reflection area thing going on um, and then I'm going to make it a little bit transparent and uh, let's see if multiply, uh, multiply just ain't, let's try darken, no nope. looks like I can't do that alright so we'll just go here then and then I'm going to do the same thing for this one, basically. Um, flip it vertical, move it down. And I'm just going to grab this like so. Change the saturation and hue on it. And then, so this gets me the idea that this is kind of this flooded, um, flooded plane going on. And if you want, you can actually grab, I'm just going to grab um, a little bit of blue hue, kind of a, a dark blue hue. And I'm going to put this in a new layer here to, oops, wrong gradient. So that's going to kind of give me this this uh, rough hue saturation kind of thing going on. And so that looks more like, like it's uh, in the water. And if you get some sunset kind of um, aspirations going on there, you, what you can do is just take some of these colors and, um, and I'm just kind of pulling pulling some of these colors down a little bit more so it looks like you know you've got that aspect of what's going on and then you can even go a little bit darker here all right and that that gives you kind of that that horizon line then what you want to do is you want to start adding your buildings in um, and start painting accordingly. So um, in this case, you want, to, you want to get your two-point perspective. So what I'm going to do is just really quickly, um, so you've got here, you've got these buildings in here. But you've got them tilted and stuff, so you want to have them, um, you want to have them, basically so that it makes more sense so I'm going to just show you real quick put these back on and so what you have to do to this is and a simple way you know is get your buildings in there first so that means you've got your horizon line get your perspective going on um, so I just I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to go in my line work here and just so you can see I'm I'm just going to Oops. Really quickly grab some buildings, and this is my perspective lines, so on and so forth. And then I built my building up, and then you want to basically kind of um, the the angle it. So once you've built your buildings, transform them like so like this so you're angling the building and I'm just 
going to do it like this so that it looks it's going to look a little bit distorted but what you can do then is then take go from that those horizon lines and add in that point so it's it's actually going to give you this uh, idea of what what's happened all right so that being said then you can simply go in and fill in your your blocks now in this case actually before I do any of that in this case I realize I'm covering up my son which is not really what you want to do so in this case I'm going to um, move this a little bit over here like so and then again I'm gonna draw my line work so that it makes more sense and then from there I can kind of start uh, cropping out some of this stuff now the next thing what you want to do is and and don't think about this too hard it's it's uh, you know it's very simple to do these buildings um, oops. Uh, come on. so it's very simple just to simply grab this building uh, create a new layer and pick pick a color from the scene don't get too many colors in there and just fill it in um, you know and if you want if you want the darker color um, you can always do the hue and saturation and then start it's gonna get more saturated and darker so then on this one here you're gonna add in and change your hue and saturation to more saturated and even darker all right so but do your perspective you know that means your windows um, and all that stuff before you before you get that get that in there so have a clear concise way to do this the next thing you want to do is you're using a lot of black um, and it's a desaturated black what you want to do is use the more saturated tones of the color you're choosing um, and I'm just gonna do a quick paint over real quick here oops something went something's going on here oh there we go I had to think about it I don't know what's going on okay so the desaturated color is going to get you know your warmer colors in there but don't feel be afraid to use like your darker blues and things like that um, and it doesn't seem like much, but when you paint, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot bigger. Um, and then what I would say is the the next big thing is once you get your perspective and all that down, look at actually the way buildings are constructed. Um, and what I mean by that is simply um, it's simple little things. And I'm gonna do this in red just to show you where you're missing stuff. So you've got this building here. Now, if this is a diagonal building, like the old time buildings are, um, you've got to have the ridges for the trim up here, um, and that you're missing that sort of thing. Think of window sills. It's all these little details. That's what you're gonna do is, you know, put those details in, and then don't like this is a window that's diagonal or um, horizontal window. Um, it, it, it wouldn't actually be like that it would be you know think of proportions and how things actually are um, and then you know how they build things get reference and that's gonna be the main thing because a lot of this is just the details you're missing um, start looking at uh, construction books um, or architectural books that have all this stuff in there and by adding you know just windows in there and then the problem with this is I'm not really looking at anything. You've just got this environment. Give me something to look at. You know, what is my focal point? Um, and that's, it's as simple as, you know, it could be simple as like a, a, a small light. Um, I'm just going to, you know, it, it could be as simple as a uh, small light here. 
and we're going to desaturate that, of course, and change down the lightness. But something as simple as this, and it's probably not that big, but you get the point. Uh, but something as simple as like that to draw the light, maybe even a silhouette of a guy in there. Um, those are things that that's going to draw me as a focal point. Um, but then again, you know, you've got you've got the top of the building showing here, which you know, looking at this, it would actually have the ridge line. You know, on these flat roofs, you're going to have um, a cement ridge, and then the brick is going to continue up. So the other thing is make sure you have clear, concise um, points in this because you know you have a lot of things fading and that's fine if you want fade but they still you still have to realize that this is in the foreground over this and this is in the foreground over this so if you want that fading I always recommend using the gradients um, and you know what you can do is on a gradient you can really quickly I'm just gonna kind of show you real quick here um, just like so alright so on a gradient you can actually just take a lighter color like so and use your gradient fill and then of course make it transparent and you'll you'll get a better layer uh, value system there all right i hope that helps